In other news, reports of two more young men gone missing in the historic town of Royalton. Authorities have been reluctant to link the disappearance of Neil Rockwell and Andrew Bailey to other recent disappearances in this small community. Neil Rockwell and Andrew Bailey were headed into the woods working on a documentary about the slaying of local animals when they were last heard from earlier this week. Authorities are combing Royalton's extensive forest and parks, searching for the local filmmakers, as well as two unnamed men reported missing in the same area just yesterday. It's on, go ahead. Hello, my name is Neil Rockwell. I am making this film to document the recent activity of pets of local citizens. Cats, dogs, and even farm animals. They're being butchered by... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is... <laughs> Stop that. You're supposed to film. Don't talk. Start over. Is that still on? No. Hello, my name is Neil Rockwell. I'm documenting my investigation of strange activity that has been occurring in the town of Royalton, New York. From the information I have gathered, there has been an abnormal amount of domesticated animals being butchered in the area. I will document what I find, and hopefully be able to single out what exactly is doing the killing, so it's going to be brought to an end. Got it? We're doing it for real that time? I swear to God, Drew. I'm just fucking with you, dude. So what are we doing? At the moment, we are driving door to door, asking people if they can share any information for what's going on. Sounds like a plan. That it is. That on? Yep. We're about to do our first interview with one of the people that live close by to where the reports of the attacks have been occurring. Hello, sir. I'm Neil Rockwell. Who's this? A camera? No shit. Sorry, sir. We're film students. We're working on a school project investigating the deaths of domesticated animals in the area. I'd just like to ask a question. Get the hell out of here. I'm not answering any goddamn questions. Take your goddamn camera with you. <laughs> film students? They won't ask questions if you say that. What is it? 10 a.m. He's already drinking? I think that was my uncle. Hopefully we'll have better luck with the next one. I kind of like that dude. You know, I aspire to be like him one day. You're not far away. Thanks, dude. Yes? Hello, ma'am. My name is Neil Rockwell. We're a couple of film students. We're working on a school project. We're investigating the deaths of domesticated animals in the area. If I could take a moment of your time to ask you a few questions, it could be very helpful for us to try to put a stop to this dreadful situation. Okay, come in, inside. Thank you. Ma'am, could you just introduce yourself to the camera? Please. My name? Yes, please. My name is Melissa Walter. Thank you, Miss Walter. I'm sure you've heard some of the rumors going around about local residents' pets being mauled by, as of now, an unknown creature. It's not rumors. It happened to my little princess. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> A few nights ago, I took her outside to go pee. I just opened the door and let her go outside like I always do. And, and I heard her crying in the dark. I went inside, I got a flashlight. <laughs> but when I got out there, she was already gone. <laughs> I don't know, whatever it was, it like tore her to pieces. I didn't see what it was, but whatever it was, it was like, it must have been some kind of an animal that could do that to her. 
<laughs> Horrible. Thank you, Miss Walter. I I'm sure you must be devastated. <laughs> yes. If you don't mind me asking, how big was your dog? He was... I have a picture. <laughs> that was her. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you again. I'm sure the information you provided us will be more than helpful in preventing this from happening to anyone else. I hope so. That chick was so doable. I can get into this film stuff for sure. Do you think documentary filmmakers ever get chicks though? Speaking with Miss Walter was very helpful. Question. The information she gave us will give us a good start on what to look for next. We're gonna go check out a place where I heard the owner lost a bunch of chickens to this alleged animal. The creature loves the cock. This is it. Come on. Okay, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell the story for the camera, please. I'm Bryce. Now, whatever got into the coop must have opened up the gate. I always keep it close. Get the latch. Sorry, continue. Well, whatever it was, I don't know. It came in here, though. It killed half a dozen of my chickens. And it didn't tear open the fence or anything, so I don't know how it came inside without opening up the gate. Unless you left it open. Did you see or hear anything unusual? Like I was sound asleep. I didn't see or hear anything until the morning. And there was just six chickens out here dead, torn to pieces, and the gate was wide open. Thank you for your time, sir, and allowing us on your property. I hope you find out what killed my chickens. We'll be sure to let you know if we do. All right. Thank you again. I'd say our first day was successful. We obtained information from a few people suggesting that an animal is behind the killings. We'll have to get our gear ready for tomorrow and see what else we can find. Christina, Christina. What? Just making sure I don't forget your name. So you guys, what, made movies? Yeah, you might have seen some of our stuff on TV. Like what? Well, do you want another drink? I already have one. Oh yeah, cool. Is that camera on? No way, I actually was just making sure it's uh, ready for tomorrow. Put it down. We should go in the other room. <sighs> Alright. <sighs> it is quarter to why the fuck am I up AM. Luckily for me, Neil had coffee waiting for me when he woke me up from my slumber. <sighs> I'm just so hung over right now and I didn't get any sleep at all if you know what I mean but don't tell him that it's off the record right now I think he's getting his morning jerk off in maybe um, I'm not 100% sure but uh, yeah he's definitely jerking off uh, whatever he's doing in there has nothing to do with me at all so why he woke me up I have no idea let's go check that out though Hey, buddy. Good morning. Someone tired? So what do we have going on today for this episode of Neil vs. the Killer Coyotes? Well, I'm packing some supplies for today. Figured we'd do a bit more investigating, try to find some more clues. Perfect. You have someone over last night? No. Thought I heard someone talking. I was watching TV. And listening to the radio at the same time? Maybe that's why I couldn't sleep. Right. Well, moving forward, I'll give you a breakdown of what we got going on here today. Got my trusty camera here, photograph any footprints or other items we may want to document with stills. This guy's our motion camera. It can be set up just about anywhere you choose to put it, take photos of whatever walks into its range. So we'll get some photos of Sasquatch. 
This is our secondary video camera. It's the GoPro Hero 2. This thing rocks. You can mount it just about anywhere. Then I've got laptop, snacks, first aid kit, some more supplies to help us along our journey. We're just going to set this camera up by the chicken coop. If the animal comes back, at least we'll get an idea of what we're dealing with. Sure, do whatever you want. I'll be inside if you need me. Thank you, sir. I wonder how many other people go through this much trouble to catch a rabid wolf. What are you talking about? This is great. You know what people would watch? Some of that Girls Gone Wild shit. Let's get some chicks to show us their boobies instead of wasting all our time on this monster hunting. Drew? With all the animals getting mauled around here, we could be on something really exciting. <laughs> exciting to you and maybe two other nerds who would sit through a five hour long made for YouTube documentary about how to stop rabid squirrels from killing poodles. Just wait till we set this camera up and get footage of something that's gonna blow you away, dude. <laughs> Let's investigate the area a little more. I'd like to take a walk around the woods a bit, then we can take the rest of the night and tomorrow off. All right. That's your searching face? Mm-hmm. Don't eat him. Neil, this is what it's like. Well, that was a productive day. It actually was. We'll come back in a few days and see if we actually got anything on that camera. All right. Oh, hold on. I gotta take this. Take this from me. Stop, take it, take it. Stop. Hey Rex, what's up? where the asshole lives. See how hard it is to try to convince him to let me borrow something. Good morning. Good morning. Do you mind if I borrow your kayaks? If I ever got anything back from you, I'd let you borrow my kayaks. I'll bring you a case of beer when I bring them back. <laughs> yeah, I heard that before. That's what I thought you'd say. Thanks. My outstanding father-son relationship ends up costing me lots of money renting things that he already owns. Uh, 
I don't get it, man. I don't understand why you have to waste all this time with that guy. I've known Neil since we were kids. Neil. Look, all I'm saying is, uh, look, you don't keep your first bike when you're a kid. You don't keep your first car. You don't even keep your first girlfriend. So why are you wasting all this time with these loser friends? I think you're jealous. That's what it is. I'm <laughs> jealous. I'm not. All right. Well, it's sweet of you and all, Rex, but he's actually a pretty good guy. And uh, besides, if I wasted all my time with goons like you, I'd probably get myself in even more trouble than I already do. <laughs> I'll drink to that, buddy. All right. So, did you invite me over here to spend time with me or film me like a creep? Sarah, a real cameraman never puts his camera down. You really know how to impress a girl. So what kind of movies do you make anyways? Have you ever seen those spring break movies where the girls all show their boobies? Yeah. That's totally us. Ew. So, what do you think? You wanna maybe show me some skin? You are a creep. I'll turn the camera off. <laughs> Come on, don't leave. I was only kidding. Wait! Son of a bitch. This footage is going to earn me my Oscar. Good morning! Good morning! And a good morning it is indeed. Are you pumped? I have never been so pumped in my entire life. That's what I like to hear. Let's do this. Let's not do this. We're just gonna go grab the camera and see if we got anything. I'll give you a call later and let you know what we find out. Thanks again for the help. Yeah, don't mention it. When you see this, your mind is going to be blown. Mind blown. Oh, birdie. We probably could have given it a few more days. Days, months, maybe years. You're still not going to find anything worthwhile. I think we need to do some more interviews. Let's try next door. I hate kids. Jeez. Are you getting that? Oh yeah. What do you want? Hello, sir. My name is Neil Rockwell. We're here investigating the deaths of domesticated animals in the area. Do you have a moment to talk to us? Investigating for who? We're film students. We're doing a documentary piece for a class. Come on out back. He's going to ass rape us.
Could you introduce yourself to the camera, sir? They say it's an animal. Maybe they're right, but they're not. I love this guy. Killed Roy, saw it do it. Cops think I'm crazy. Maybe I am. Who is Roy? My dog, old boy. Time was coming for him soon enough. Comes for us all soon enough. You say you saw it? The animal that killed your dog? Uh, it wasn't just an animal. Some kind of devil. Almost looked like a man, but it wasn't a man. I suppose it's always been out there, hiding in the shadows. What has? Hey boys, hey, you come on inside now. I'll tell you all about it. Sure. Thanks, ma'am. It's Esther, darling. Come on now. Oh, no thanks. I'll just have a nice tea if you got it. Thank you, sweetheart. So, <laughs> tell me about this thing you saw. I had an old friend lived up on the reservation. I drop in now and then. Catch up, a few drinks. He was a dear old friend to both she of us. He was all right. He used to tell this old folk tale about this creature that he called Yaya Kanusa. Now, if you translate that into English, it means six fingers. Hmm, the old story, uh. I think it dates way back even before the Erie Canal was built. It tells the story of a, of a creature that walked like a man, but looked like an animal. It had three fingers on each hand. The legend says that this creature used to attack the homes of the settlers in the middle of the night, devouring their livestock and destroying their crops. Destroying a man's livelihood. I don't know. I, maybe the creature was just trying to force those people off its land. And some of them did go. But the ones that didn't, well, they had no food. They, they soon began to starve. And when they were at their weakest, that creature would finally come after them and devour them the same way that it had the animals babies and children being torn apart, eaten alive, parents desperately trying to save them with reaching the same end that they had. Now a wise man once confronted Yaya Kanusa and begged it to stop the killing and to leave the settlers in peace. And that creature, it honored that man for his bravery because he was the only one that stood up and showed courage even in his weakest moment. So, Six Fingers and that wise man, they made a pact. That creature promised to stop the killing on two conditions. That every spring, the people would stay away from the creature's home and that every spring, without fail, they would make an offering of livestock to the creature. Well, our old friend, he believed every word of that story. And he and his father before him, well, they would never leave the land where Yayaka Nusa lived. But every spring, they'd make that offering. Can we talk to this friend of yours? Oh, darling, he passed away last winter. Is that why Six Fingers is back? Was there no one to make the offering in the spring? Well, our old friend, he only asked one thing of his sons. That they keep with the promise that the wise man had made and that they make the offerings. I guess that they, they just 
thought it was some some old superstitious legend that their crazy old father told. How can we stop Six Fingers? Is it too late to make an offering? It lives deep in the woods. The only way is to confront Six Fingers and hope it's not too late. Thank you so much for sharing that story, ma'am. Don't play with the devil unless you're not afraid to face hell. That was so awesome. We got something there for sure, man. We love to title this documentary uh, Native American Legends as Told by Old Alcoholics. You're right, we really have something amazing. Judy, that was an incredible story. That was cool enough just to hear, but I won't be able to have it on tape. Please don't tell me you're buying into this crap about a six-fingered walking, talking monster. My friend, you and I are going camping. Please, no. Please, yes. How much am I getting paid to do this for you? Oh wait, I'm not, so no. I'll bring beer. Okay, I'll do it. Jeez, at least have some self-control. What's that? Never had it. You're not really trying to change my mind after convincing me to do this, are you? Beer? Sold. This is it. We're ready to go. We'll be setting up camp in the middle of the woods in hopes to find more answers. Maybe even we'll uncover the mystery of a local legend. Are you coming? No. We're going to try looking out in these woods further than we have been before. Judging by what our last interview we had said, if this creature does exist, it lives further out in these woods. Let's check it out. Hold this. Shut that off for a minute. I'm gonna go take a piss. Sure you don't want me to film that? Drew. You're right. If any chick saw that thing beforehand, you'd never get laid. <laughs> Who's gonna look at this? If it's infected, I really don't want to see it, dude. Seriously, stop being an asshole and get over here. Is this for real? I don't even know what I'm looking at. What is it? This is either a really good hoax or they were telling the truth. One, two, three. We may have the first documented proof 
that the creature known as the Ayuk Anonsa, translating to English meaning six fingers, actually exists. What the fuck was that? Oh sh fuck! Wait up! What are you doing? Get back here and film this! Come on, get me right on that hedgerow, let's go! I'm not gonna die to film your monster, dude! You see the size of that print? That thing's probably huge! Or somebody fuck with us right around the corner and we're letting them get away! All right! Come on, we're missing it! Holy shit! Over there! Oh my god. Did you get that? Yeah, a little bit. Let me see. I don't see anything. Dude, I got more footage of the Monster Quest did in three seasons. I am so getting work after this. We've just captured actual footage of the creature. There's still no telling whether it's an elaborate hoax or if it's real. But from what we've seen, it sure has me convinced. I don't see any tracks. Let's set up the motion camera before it's too late. So what do we got going on here? As I mentioned before, this is a motion camera. I'll elaborate a little more, however. You set it up wherever you believe will be best to capture your targeted objective and choose your settings. Once it's ready, anything that walks in front of it is photographed. After your desired amount of time, generally a few days, you then remove the memory card and place it in your computer to view the digitally taken photos. So we'll have eyes on this creature when it thinks we're not around? Yes. Hopefully we'll have some photos of six fingers on here soon enough. It's starting to get late. Let's set up camp. Set up camp? What are you, crazy? No. We need to get more proof that this is not a hoax. Fine. This is where we're setting up camp. About a mile or so away from where we set up the motion camera. And out in the middle of nowhere where nobody will ever find our bodies. Just start gathering wood and I'll set up a fireplace. Sure thing, boss. Did you hear that? Shh. There it is again. Are you filming? Yeah, man, I think I got it. That's the noise we heard when the bushes were moving earlier. Six Fingers is still close by. Sure you don't want one? No man. I'm enjoying myself just fine. Suit yourself. How long do you plan on staying out here anyway? Until we find it. What if we've already seen as much as we're going to see of it? I don't know. Hmm. All I want to know is if you ever slept with Molly. Not playing this game. He dated her for two years, dude. It's none of your business. Are you recording this? No, dude. I want to waste the space. Why is the light on? I just want to see your pretty face. All right. So say we unveil this whole story. We get some footage of the thing. And it gets killed or captured, whatever. We find. Town of Royalty can finally let their dogs out to pee again at night, and maybe even put itself on the map. I get a job as a cameraman on some monster-seeking TV show, soon become a world-renowned cinematographer who parties hard with new bitches every night, then eventually dies of substance abuse. Now, my question to you, young Neil Rockwell, is what are your hopes and aspirations after this is all said and done? I mean, what do you want out of life? I want to see the world. I want to be something bigger than a small town nobody that works in a factory until I'm old and gray. I want to live, man. I don't want to worry about how I'm going to pay the bills. I don't want to say I could have or should have done anything. I want to be remembered for something. Not just fade out of the history books. Only have my name on a tombstone that reads, Here lies Average Neil. I want to be more than this. That's deep. Total 
probably would slept with Molly though. I did. Fuck you, Drew! You could have hit the camera! It was after you dated her, dude! drink too much. Go back to sleep. Oh my god, it's just get out there. Did you hear it? Ew. I swear to god, it was right outside the tent. I even recorded it. It sounded like it was right next to us. You should have gotten out and filmed it. What are you, crazy? That thing would have torn me into two. We still have no idea if what we heard was true. Have you seen my Pop-Tarts? Maybe the monster got them. You're right. It came to our campsite last night, went through my bag, Ate my Pop Tarts, then left. No, it was me, I'm sorry. The whole box? I didn't get any sleep last night, and I get hungry when I'm nervous, so I ate them. Perfect. So, what's the plan now? We'll give the motion camera another day to collect pictures. Let's head that way towards the ravine and see if we can find anything. Alright. Come on, careful walking the bridge with the camera. I'm always careful. For the ladies, guys, or whatever, I don't care. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up? I'm Neil. This is Drew. Chris. Uh, Alan, uh, what's up with the camera? You guys filming us? We're actually making a documentary about the area, mostly trying to solve the mystery of the recent slaughtering of domesticated animals in the area. Wasn't me. <laughs> you guys mind if we ask you a few questions? Nah, go ahead. Yo, wait, wait. Yo, is this going to be on TV? 
Have you personally been affected by the events that have been taking place involving the recent spree of animal killings? No. I don't even have any pets. You know, my neighbor was asking me if I've seen her cat, bro. Totally been looking for her for days. Have you noticed anything strange going on in the area recently? You mean besides you guys? <laughs> no, man. Nothing. It's the same old boring nothingness that always goes on around here. <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah, all right, man. Yo, sorry, man. I hope you find what you're looking for. We filmed the creature. It was tall and hairy. It's killing these animals. <laughs> all right, buddy. You have fun with it. No, wait up, man. Wow. Way to sound like a complete asshat. Douchebags. Come on. We didn't have any luck walking a ravine. I suppose it might be too frequented by people for the creature to want to go near it. We'll head back to camp and figure out a plan for our next approach. <laughs> Over there! Oh shit, it's here. Fuck me! Are you filming this? It's looking right at us! This footage is amazing. I think we have enough. Let's head back and show this to somebody. Did you hear the scream? Somebody was out there. So let's get the hell out of here before something happens to us too. Let's just grab the SD card on the motion camera first. Then we can head back. Now we're talking. Want to pack up the campsite? Screw it. We might need to come back out here. Let's not waste any time. Good deal. Here it goes. Holy shit! Oh wow! We got it! We need to show these to the authorities. This is proof that Yahya Kanusa exists! What are the cops gonna do when they look at that? Send this shit to Destination Truth or something. We need to go viral with it before it gets covered up. Alright, I'll send out a few emails first. Then we can head to the police station to report it. Just send out a couple pictures. Nobody gets footage until we get some serious cash. Deal. I'll put the pictures on the flash drive and take them to the station tomorrow. We don't show this to anyone else though, okay? We don't need anyone else stealing our footage and claiming it's theirs. Good deal. Drew, how do you turn... Oh, never mind. I got it.
<laughs> what is going on, ladies? Hello, hello, welcome. Nice to see everybody tonight. How you doing, guys? What's up, my man? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rex. Let's have sex. No. Yeah. What that was a good one, bro. Kind of Let's check the claws on that thing. God, that is so scary. Yeah, I like showed it to this like guy from this network television like broadcast company. He's like, he offered me like big bucks for it. We're gonna be like filthy rich by tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, would I lie to you, Abby? I mean, come on, like really? Like seriously? Do you have a girlfriend? Actually, no, I don't have a girlfriend. Rex. Put that down, dude! Sorry, geez. Seriously. <laughs> Can I get you another drink? Chat? Yeah. You, over here! That's it! Oh, boy. Dude, fuck this guy. What are you gonna... Get over here! Nobody fucks with me! What? Do I fuck I with you? Are... Why? <laughs> over the tap! <laughs> Now can we have sex? <laughs> no! Bruce! That's my friend Drew over there. Come on, he's got a camera. Hi Drew. Hi. Do you like a shaken or a stirred? That's the first. What does that mean? Martini, of course. Oh, doggy, come here. Doggy. Oh, doggy. You can't have oh. sex with that girl. <laughs> Why did you laugh what did I do to you? Because look at your face. <laughs> she didn't mean that. <laughs> right, Drew? Oh, wait. She did. No, no, no. He's Shut a up, Megan! Oh, I want to be a big baby fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Say cheese! Yeah, <laughs> I think we need more dicks. <laughs> Definitely more dicks. <laughs> All I'm saying is keep the camera here if you're gonna go out binge drinking the night before. This is too important for you to fuck it all up. Relax, dude. I backed up all the footage to the laptop. It's safe. Where'd you even go last night? You didn't show anyone the footage, did you? I went home. I just wanted to sleep in my own bed. Bullshit. You still smell like a liquor store. <laughs> I had a few drinks before I went to sleep. No big deal. <sighs> Turn that damn thing off. Why? I like making you look like an asshole. I already got a response to the pictures I sent. They're asking for hard physical evidence. More details included the time and place and contact information for any more witnesses that saw the creature. Don't give them too much without any check signed beforehand. They said if they get that information and looks legit, they'll send their team here and have us on their show, dude. We're talking network television covering our story. So I take we're not going to the police then? Screw that, they'll think we're nuts anyway. Let's get back out there and try to find some stool samples or hair follicles. Any kind of physical evidence this thing left behind. At the very least, we'll have pictures of the footprints to send in. I'd like to get more proof, though. You're nuts, dude. This should be enough. The more we bring to the table, the bigger the paycheck. I know I'm going to regret this. We're headed back to the campsite now. We'll be swapping the SD card out of the motion camera again and looking around the area for some more physical evidence of six fingers.
What is it? False alarm. Oh. What is that smell? I'm not sure. It smells like something died around here. Let's get a fire going and see if the smoke can nullify the smell. Seriously, I think it's coming from inside the tent. Come closer. Yeah, it smells like blood. Douchebag from yesterday have that shirt on? What? Those guys that we interviewed at the ravine, I think that's them. No way. Wait. Remember when we just left the ravine and saw the creature? Of course I remember. No, no, no. Remember the scream we heard just before we saw it? Yeah. It must have killed them right then. Why the fuck would it bring the corpses back to our tent? It's fucking with us, Drew. The woman who told us the story. She made it sound like it was more evolved than an ordinary animal. It knows what we're doing and is trying to fuck with us. Oh, shit. Let's call the cops then. Oh shit! <laughs> fuck. Why is it chasing us? I don't know! Back! Over there! What is it carrying? <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> What's it doing? It's watching us. Why isn't it attacking? I don't know. Let's get out of here. Which way towards the road? We have to go towards him? Fuck that. Where are we going to end up if we go the opposite way? I'm not sure. But the further we get away from that thing, the better. see it anymore. Fuck. Did you hear that? Oh shit. Which way's the campsite? I don't know. We gotta turn around. Shit. No. Shit. Fuck. Back there. Oh my god. It's right there. Run. <laughs> What are we gonna do now? I'm not sure. We're lost. Nothing looks familiar. Fuck. What the hell are we gonna do? How are we gonna get home? I have no idea. <laughs> Shit. See it anymore? I can't see anything, it's too dark. We've been stalked by six fingers for the past few hours. For some reason, even though it's killed the other two hikers, it's not attacking us. I have no idea what it wants from us. It's pushed us deeper into the woods throughout the night. We're completely lost at this point. I think it's still out there in the darkness. 
Not. It's watching us. I can feel it. I just want to go home. This was such a stupid idea. I told you this was a stupid idea from the start. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't force you to come out here with me. You chose to come. So don't blame me for you being here. Don't blame you? I wouldn't be out here if it wasn't for you. I don't want to argue. It's not going to change anything. The sun should be up soon. We'll start walking when we can see you again. Hey asshole! Fuck you! What do you want from us? We didn't do anything! Screw this. If you wanted to kill us, we would have done something by now. Let's just go back that way. For your track record of horrible ideas, that might be the worst I've heard. Fuck it, I'm going. <laughs> Hey asshole, I'm going home. Stay. Stay. Sit. Good boy. <laughs> oh, shit! What the hell is it doing? Let's keep walking. Fuck this guy. Which way is the north? You should have brought your compass. Is your phone working? Nah, it died before I hit panic mode. What happened to yours? I dropped it when I was trying to call the police. You are as dumb as shit sometimes. Fuck you! Well, at least I brought a lot of camera batteries. Why are you even recording this? I'm documenting what's happening to us. You're the documentary filmmaker, isn't that what you wanted? It's pointless. Pointless? If we get out of this alive, it's gonna be one hell of a story. If. Man, I am so hungry. Oh my. Yo, six wieners! Share some of that grub, bro! <coughs> I think he just told me to suck it. I would eat anything right now if I had to. Tell me about it. Mr. Filmmaker, could you give us an update of what's going on here, please? Uh, for the viewers at home, of course, mate. Well, we've been stalked by six fingers for, I don't know how long. We even slept or eaten in over 24 hours. We're lost in the middle of the woods, with no sense of direction or survival skills. Or to put it lightly, totally fucked. I blame my parents for raising me on Nintendo and TV. We didn't even get the Discovery Channel. I thought you were a fan of those monster shows. Illegal torrents. Oh, off the record though, of course. Eh, doesn't matter. Some asshole's probably gonna download this after we're done with it anyways. I would. Didn't we already walk through this area once? Do you think we could mount a GoPro on that thing's head? Wouldn't that be sick? Just like a whole TV series in Monster Vision? Is everything a joke to you? Do you even realize what's going on here? The thing is starving us, just like in the story. It's making us weak so it can kill us. It's playing with us, Drew. I stopped caring a while ago. I am done with this bullshit. Besides, if what you're saying is true, then let's go fight the fucker before we don't have the strength to. I already don't have the strength to. That is so like you. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Ever since we were kids, whenever push came to shove, I was always in the fight while you watched from the sidelines. I don't get into fights that aren't mine. I'm sorry, but defending your friends is your fight. Not when you're the asshole studying them to begin with. You are a pussy, Neil. Admit it. Admit it, I'll go kick the thing in the nuts right now. Fuck you, Drew, you self-righteous piece of shit. We wouldn't stand a chance against that thing anyway. You wouldn't stand a chance because you're a pansy. Fine, you want to be a tough guy? Go show how manly you are. Go fight that thing. Go ahead and do it. You're coming with me. Fine, give me a weapon. You want to fight, motherfucker? I'll give you a fight. Ah! 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 Ah!
it, buddy. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry about those things. I said I didn't mean any of that. I swear to God, Neil, I didn't mean it. Where did you go? <laughs> My name is Andrew Bailey. And if you're watching this footage, I'm very likely dead. I am not a good person by any means. And I've been a bad friend to the one person who would have done anything for me. <laughs> Neil is dead, and it's all my fault. I tried to make him fight the monster, and he's died for nothing. The last thing I did was hurt him with my words. All I ever do is hurt people. I am a selfish, horrible human being, and I should have died in his place. <laughs> I haven't eaten or slept in days, and I am so lost and alone. <laughs> the creature, Yayuk, I don't fucking know its name. <laughs> it's been following me. It's out there watching me. I haven't seen it since it attacked Neil. But I can feel it out there. I think it wants me to starve. It wants me to suffer. I just want to go home. Son of a bitch! Where's your friend? He's dead. The, the, the creature killed him that, that your, your wife was telling us about. Okay. Okay, you come with me. All right. I haven't eaten anything or slept in days. Just follow me, it'll be all over soon.
Thank you. Sorry, I forgot your name. I didn't tell you. My name's Andrew. Do you want to get back or chit chat? Butch. It's Butch. Am I going now? Sorry. Just want to know the name of the person who rescued me. Yeah, no rescue boy. What was that? I said, let's go. Are we close? We're close. That thing had killed two other hikers. Guys that weren't any older than me. And your friend, a filmmaker? Yeah. Three all together? Yes. It's been taunting me for days. I just don't understand why it hasn't killed me yet. All part of its game. It's coming. That's impossible. I did what it told me. What? What are you talking about? It only wanted two of them. Two of what? It wants you. What the fuck are you doing? You brought this upon yourself, you undeserving children with no conscience. You will be judged by your actions because you didn't listen to the rules set by your elders. Ah, your generation brought this back because you did not live by the code your ancestors did. That and your foolish existence on this earth. An existence you don't deserve. You're insane. You told me you would end this if I sent you two of them. He tells me you've already killed three. Three of them! I promised I would send them to you and I did. But you went back in your word. Okay. Okay. I will deliver the offerings again, just like they always have been. But you, you go back to where you came from and leave me to hell alone! In devastating news today, the remains of Royalton locals Chris Dawson, Alan Baxter, and Neil Rockwell have been discovered by authorities. The coroner reports the young men were mauled by what appears to be a rogue bear. Still no leads on the disappearance of Andrew Bailey. Bailey had been working with Rockwell on a documentary film when first reported missing. Investigators fear the worst for Bailey. The families are hopeful that authorities will recover Bailey's camera equipment, which may hold clues as to what these young men ran into in the woods. That thing on? Hi, I'm Rex. What's up? So, uh, I don't really know Neil too well. He and Drew were tight, but we weren't friends or anything like that. I mean, this guy was a dork. Never wanted to party or anything. But Drew and I were like best friends. So, sure hope he's okay. Sorry. So Drew was showing this chick a picture at a sick party that I threw, but he wouldn't show it to me, and I, I overheard him telling her that it was Bigfoot, or Chupacabra or something. It's probably the shit that killed those guys. <laughs> Drew, Drew's probably just lost in the woods somewhere. I mean, he's probably drunk somewhere, huh? My son Andrew's always been kind of reckless. 
He's disappeared before for days, but he comes back every time. I just have to believe he's out there and he's okay. If he'd listen to anything I ever taught him, he'd know how to survive out there for weeks. He's lost. He's trying to find his way back home. Do I look okay? Okay. So Drew, yeah, I knew Drew. I was actually in one of his movies. He was filming me once. We hung out. He was such a nice guy. I just can't believe he's gone. What happened to him? It doesn't matter. It must be a sad story. I can't believe he's gone, though. Such a nice guy. They seemed like such nice boys. And I know that they was just trying to figure out whatever it was that was killing the folks' animals around here. Well, I guess they found what they was looking for. Well, those woods are part of nature. If you don't respect that fact, you're going to find yourself in a whole world of trouble. I can only hope for the best for that poor boy who's still missing. Yes, I am very sad to hear about Neil and Drew. Um, they were very nice boys. They cared deeply about the neighborhood pets, which we all appreciated. So um, uh, we do, will all miss them very much, but their sacrifice is completely worth it because all of the neighborhood pets are now safe. Now that the creature has ha does have an appetite for humans, it makes it much safer world for the pets and they're helpless, so I think that that's a good thing. And they would be happy. They would be very proud to know that they made a sacrifice that was worth it. Um, just to show you, uh, I had lost my original princess, but this is Princess 2. Good girl. And this one's named after Neil, and this one's Drew, and this one's Bob. <laughs> hey, Bob. Hi, Bob. And um, they were a happy family thanks to the documentary filmmakers who lost their lives to the creature. So we all want to say thank you guys.